Hi guys, I am so back. Okay, so for today, we are back again with another video. Now, if you don't know me, hi, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Norvi and I make sit down videos about anything under the sun. Okay, so if you haven't yet, Please do subscribe to my channel. Click the bell button for you to be updated on my upcoming videos. Okay, so I was thinking of a good video that everyone can relate, and I came up to this idea to make a series of all the relatable things that I know, and I hope that you guys can relate. So yeah, let's start with this video now. If you're excited and if you can't wait to know what this video is all about, just keep on watching. Okay, let's start. Okay, so my panel book si mayor. I graduated from the University of Mindanao. Now, if you don't know what that school, what that university is, it's um, one of the biggest university sa Mindanao, obviously. I'm a proud Bisaya, so mga ga. Mga from UM, University of Mindanao. Pagingay tayo because I will state here the struggles. Na hindi lang ito para sa mga taga UM, but also for you college students because I've been there, done that. Now, here are ten things. Let's start. Number one, pumunta ka ng pumunta ka ng maaga, umuwi ka ng gabi sa haba ng pila sa enrollment. You feel the struggle, guys. No. Pag pumunta ka naman ng early enrollment, kasi nga wala pang tao. Pag early enrollment ka naman, wala pang subjects na available. Be. Pag nagpa-enroll ka naman ng normal enrollment, ang dami namang tao. Pero, pag pumunta ka ng late, naubusan ka na ng subject. So the struggle is real during enrollment. Ang haba ng pila, galing pa sila bas ng gate, hanggang sa cashier. Pagkatapos mo sa cashier, doon ka na naman magpapa... Basta, ang daming steps ng enrollment and I've been there. Done that. Ayoko nang bumalik. So, yun yung first struggle. Enrollment. Number two. First day of school. So, ayan. Enrolled ka na. Papunta ka na. First day of school. You're very excited. Sinot mo ang yung best dress. Nag-makeup ka. Ano pa bang ginawa mo sa buhay mo? Pero pagbasok mo, walang klase. Kasi walang professor. That's nice. Yung iba namang subjects, my class. Bagong school, bagong rooms, hindi mo alam ngayon ang room mo. So, naglakad-lakad ka. Nalate ka na sa first subject mo. Dahil nilakad mo, nilibot mo na ang buong campus at hindi mo pa rin makita ang iyong classroom. I can relate. Ito pa. First day of school. Introduce yourself. Um, hi guys. Um, my name is um. Ayan. Tapos sa introduction, may iba pang ano? May iba pang nagpapakita ng gilas like. Ah, palasi. Ah, ako palasi. And and um, I came from a very rich family. Like we do. Like. May iba din na. Ako palasi. Ako po si Marites. Um, mahiyain po ako. Ayan, so, first day of class, introduction. I hate that. Like, meron pa, kailangan, may mga teachers pa talaga ng bida-bida. Gusto nila, huwag pa, may pasampol. Like, sige. After introducing yourself, you should show them your talent. What if wala akong talent, ma'am? Number three. Struggle sa subjects. I don't know if ako lang ha, pero may mga minor subjects na feeling major. May mga minor subject na sila ang dahilan kung bakit hindi ka makaka-graduate. But you know guys, it doesn't mean na minor subjects lang yan. Ititreat na natin sila na minor. Of course, since minor sila, para silang ano, yung general, general... 
para siyang general knowledge, kumbaga, na kailangan talaga nating malaman. Okay, so, take note para sa mga college students dyan na minor students, hindi yan siya lang-lang. Okay, minor subject lang. No, it can cause failure. It can cause um, damaged dreams. So, take your minor seriously. Number four. Struggle sa gastos. Guys, college, sobrang magastos. Like, tuition fees, baon every day. Mga photocopy. To. Yung ipang kakain mo, pang kakain. Yung ikakain mo, ipapaprint at ipapapotocopy mo na lang. Ganyan ang struggle ng mga college students. Yung, kasi sa school namin, ay sa campus namin, sobrang laki na nag-provide ang University of Mindanao ng Electronic, uh, ng electronic car or what they call e-car na may 6 pesos or I don't know kung magkano na pamasahe ngayon basta 6 pesos ang pamasahe at saka napapansin ko ang mga driver ay mga babae <laughs> mga baba mga, yung mga drivers so, yung kapanahunan ko yung mga drivers mga tomboy but guys I don't like mga tomboy yung mga driver tapos tawag namin sa yung parang ano ba ano ba bayad te bayad kuya I don't know. Now, from main gate to my building, tinatakbo ko yan kasi wala akong budget for e-car. Kasi mapapaprint pa ako. Ano ba? Ito ba? Yung need mong bumili ng libro. Kasi, hindi ka ipapasa ni sir kung hindi ka bibili ng libro. At dahil dyan, nabagsak ako. Kasi hindi ko binili ang libro ni sir. I don't know if that's bawal. Basta, or siguro, or siguro, hello. Sorry sir, pero feel ko talaga, pinagsak niya ako kasi hindi ako nakabay ng libro. Okay, ito pa. Sa UM, we are, every two, we have exams every two weeks. Kaya, every two weeks, kailangan namin magbayad ng tuition fee. Kaya, ubusan ng pera, guys ang college. Like, it's a struggle. Number five, struggle sa exams. Ang dami kong nakikita ng mga posts at mga tweets ngayon na, papasa lang, sana pumasa, sana pumasa and everything. Now guys, I tell you, yan ang pinaka-struggle ko noon because yung feeling na bumagsak pa sa exam kahit nag-study ka naman. Nag-study ka nga, wala namang lumabas. Ni isa. Sa mga pinag-aralan mo. Eh, ito pa. Nag-study, bumagsak, nag-shift. Now, let's go to number six. Shift. May mga students na naging hobby na nila ang shifting. Guys, let's not make that a hobby. Unless forced shift. Unless forced shift. Unless forced to shift ka. Okay, now, just do your best in everything. Don't decide basta-basta. Kasi ang sa for me, sayang talaga yung pera ng mga tao na nagsishift. Yung, yung kinuha nila yung course, tapos hindi pala sila sure if they love that course. Like, yeah, don't bash me or anything. It's just my opinion, guys. Kasi ako, kahit yung gusto, kahit gusto ko talaga maging HRM noon. Kasi I love cooking. Joke. Hindi ko love cooking, but... I like baking. Pero sabi ni mami na, tapusin mo muna yung masko mo, and then pwede ka na mag-proceed sa HRM. Kaya, ginawa ko, okay, hindi ako nag-shift. Pinush ko ang masko, and here I am. Applying all the things that I have learned from my studies. Tama ba akong yung English? Number seven. Ito na ang the dreaded part. Thesis. Nakakasira ang thesis ng kalusugan. Walang tulugan, bebe. Like, ganyan yung ginagawa namin noon. Tatlo kami. But alam mo guys, mostly sa mga thesis talaga, mas mahaba kasi yung chikahan time. Kasi kami, yung grupo namin, group kasi kami gumagawa ng thesis noon. Tsaka, yung leader namin bumibili ng pagkain na pagkadami-dami. Kaya, <laughs> kaya naman kami, kami, kami ng kaming members, eh, 
sarap din naman ng kain, o diba? Kaya, mas mahaba minsan yung time ng chika and saka nung lafang kesa sa paggawa ng thesis. So, that's why I can really say nakakasira ng kalusugan ang thesis kasi junk food is life. Number 8. Early class. May class ako noon, 7 a.m. Like, the struggle is real. Nakatira ako sa Katalunan Pequeño at saka yung school ko, University of Mindanao, sa Matina. So, sobrang layo, guys. Pahirapan sa jeep. Everyday, like, kailangan kong gumising ng 4, 5 a.m. para makasakay ng jeep ng maaga at hindi maubusan. Ito pa. One time, may klase nga akong 7 a.m. Nasa jeep na ako, like, Nakulit na ako, paano ba to? And bigla akong ma... <gasps> Nakasabay ko sa jeep ang aking professor. Kaya nagtingin na nalang kami. Oh, hi ma'am. And we were like, at least late tayong dalawa. O ba diba? Yay! Number 9. Outfit. I know hindi makaka-relate dito yung mga universities or mga colleges, mga schools na may uniform. But sa University of Mindanao, is wala kaming uniform, guys. It's a struggle. Like, everyday, kailangan mo i-plan kung anong susuotin mo. Tapos, pag paulit-ulit naman yung damit mo, sabihan kang, uy, ba't ulit yung damit mo? Bakit? Wala kaming washing machine? The last but not the least. This is actually not a struggle, guys. But this is a learning. At halata naman nagbabasa ako sa libro ko. Ah, may, may, may na-learn ba ako ito? Number 10. Now, this is, not, this, is, this is not a struggle, I repeat. I have learned from the experiences sa lahat ng mga struggles na nabanggit ko. Because actually, that's not all. Those are just the start. Ang dami-daming pinagdadaanan ng mga college students. But guys, Bear in mind, kung nasa college ka pa ngayon, bear in mind na ako nga eh, feel ko nga mas, mas may utak ka pa sa akin, but as you can see, nakagraduate ako. Bear in mind that lahat na makukuha mo dyang learnings sa college, you can use that sa real world. Because the real world, guys, wala nang stop, wala nang pause, wala nang... Um, pwede pa pakiusapan si professor. Wala na guys. Like, in the real world, this is it. Make it or break it. We are like, kayo mga students, mga college students as of now, you are fighting for your dreams, guys. Because, ino-overcome nyo tong lahat ng mga struggles na to. Like, this is your struggles every day of your life, guys. But, you're doing your best to overcome this. And, at the end, guys, I know if nakatapos kayo ng college, this is all be worth it. Lahat ng mga tears, lahat ng mga pains nyo will all be worth it. Because, finally, you can have the dream job. Like, you can have your dream life if magpupush ka din, if magpupursi ka sa buhay. Kaya guys, ito lang ang masasabi ko sa inyo. Do your best because hindi lahat na kapag college. Stop complaining because some people are praying na sana sila din nakapag-college and you are very blessed because you are one of those few people na nakapag-college. So, I think that's it for this video. I hope that you learned something and then do comment down below if nakarelate ka. Diba? Malay mo naman. Makarelate. And guys, thank you so much for walang sawang watching my videos. Ayan. So, I think that's it for this video. See you on my next one. Bye!